The Port of Tampa is saying sí to the idea of a ferry service from Tampa to Havana. At least two cruise companies are preparing bids to take passengers and their cars on an overnight cruise to Cuba. And though this would revive a route that was well traveled before the Cold War, it will remain illegal for most of you watching this story to take that trip. Tampa International Airport was just recently added to the list of airports authorized to take U.S. passengers to Cuba. Now the Port of Tampa is hoping the federal government will also allow ferry service to the communist nation. Anything that brings Cuba and Tampa in communications, I think, is a positive, a positive development. Al Fox lobbies full time to end the U.S. ban on trade and travel to Cuba. It's a policy that divides even Tampa's Cuban community. Though Fidel Castro has held power through 50 years of the embargo, some people believe the U.S. should isolate the island until Castro changes, leaves, or dies. The CEO of United Caribbean Lines, based near Orlando, says the ferry would resemble a ship like this. It would carry 600 cars and about 1,500 passengers. But under the embargo, most of us won't be able to get on board. Travel to Cuba is limited to those with family on the island and a limited number of people on academic, cultural, and scientific exchanges. Though Bruce Nirenberg is betting that will soon change. There'll be millions of Americans that go to Cuba when the embargo is lifted someday in the future. You know, the advantage of being an established operator and having a profitable business and all your relations established uh, is clear. Newspaper publisher Patrick Montega's grandfather traveled on Tampa ferries that sailed almost daily for Havana when the two cities were intimately linked. We're just dragging our feet now on something that's going to happen, and it's actually better for the people of Cuba and for the people of America for this to happen sooner rather than later. United Caribbean Lines hopes to get approval from the federal government to start operating by this summer. We'll let you know if and when that happens. Wendy? Thanks, Brett.